what does the old adage say? Another week, another PlayStation Store sale, or in this case, two PlayStation Store sales. Honestly, I find it funny. And like, even Sony at this point, they do not give a crap of what they titled the sales. Oh, we got the games under $15 sale. I feel like I've seen that title like a billion times this year only. Oh, how about the July saving sale? Because the July saving sale is so much different than the June saving sale, the May saving sale. That's just what it is, the July saving sale. What a special occasion. Nevertheless, I'm complaining about getting great deals on video games, so it kind of shows how effed up I am. Let's just talk about these deals because there's quite a few good ones. Bloodborne Complete Edition, a bundle is $17.49, and obviously this is from the July savings. We'll go over that first, and then we can talk games under $15. Complete Edition for $17.50 is pretty good. Would like to see this a little bit cheaper. Of course, Bloodborne was a PlayStation Plus title back in like March of 2018, so a lot of you guys probably already have it, but if you don't, smack yourself in the face. Just a quick swift one, and then Bloodborne should definitely be added to your cart because it is an amazing game. Truly, to me, it was the first system-selling PlayStation 4 exclusive. Like, you had games like Infamous Second Son, which was good. Uh, KZ Shadowfall was okay. Until Dawn, again, those games were good, but then Bloodborne really was an elite-level exclusive that showed that the PlayStation 4 was about to get some killer games. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Deluxe Edition is $51. Not bad, um, but pricey at the same time. That's 40% off. I enjoyed DBZ Kakarot. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball and you want to take that in the form of an open world RPG, you'll enjoy it. This is not a game to buy to just experience the DBZ story because if you play it fundamentally as an open world RPG, it's pretty mediocre in all regards. No Man's Sky 50% off for $25. That is a fantastic buy. A game that's been getting considerably better over time. Now, I haven't played it recently, but I played it after a couple of the updates came out when VR just dropped, and VR in this game is also something that's pretty incredible, so if you have a VR headset, you can take advantage of that as well. But the game itself went from nothingness, really a bad game, to something that is truly special. Maybe truly special is pushing it a little bit far, but it's a great game, in my opinion. And uh, remember, I originally played this game on PC back in 2016, and it was a broken PC version as well, and I just really raged at that game for no reason whatsoever for way too long, but now it's actually a pretty good game. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard is 50% off for $9.99, fantastic buy, RE7 is awesome, I know RE2 Remake gets all the attention. Resident Evil 7 is a great game, and of course Resident Evil 8 Village is on the way, so you should probably be prepping for that by playing RE7. And for $10, I think that's a pretty good buy. Neo the Complete Edition, 50% off for $25. It does have the DLC, so that's solid. Neo 2 is a better game, but Neo 1 is still definitely worthwhile a playthrough. Code Vein, 50% off for $29.99. You know, I enjoyed Code Vein. A lot of my friends have mixed things to say. Like, it is literally one of the most mixed reception games that I think I've ever played and enjoyed. I have so many friends that didn't like it, that did like it. It's one that I think everybody really has to just play for themselves. The story isn't anything to write home about, but it's there and it's relatively decent. Gameplay is solid, and in my opinion, I like the look of the game as well, so maybe that did have a factor to do with me enjoying the title. But if you're a fan of the look of the game, if you're a fan of more challenging action RPGs, Code Vein is one I think you should check out. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, 16 bucks, still a little bit price on that. AC4 Black Flag is 9 bucks. I'll champion this game until the day I die. I literally beat it like 6 or 7 times, a ridiculous amount of times on like literally every platform outside of the last gen version. It's a phenomenal game, an excellent open world action adventure title. The naval combat is great, and of course it was so good that they're literally making their own game out of it called Skull and Bones. That should be a testament to how good the naval combat is. Visuals still hold up really well. It's just a great game all around, and I would give it a strong recommendation. AC Rogue Remastered, on the other hand, that's down to $9.89, one of those Assassin's Creed games that a lot of people missed. It's a good game, not as good as AC4, but it does have a lot of the elements that it made AC4 so good, so I would recommend that one at $9.89 if you've never played it. Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. Wow, this is a slick deal. $14.99 for it. That's a steal. That's only a year old at this point. Not even a year old. It's like nine months old, and it's down to 15 bucks. That's insane. Um, I would give that a strong, strong recommendation. Nino Kuni 1, in my opinion, is better than Nino Kuni 2. It's just a great game, a charming JRPG, and even if you're not a big fan of JRPGs, I I've always thought Nino Kuni was a solid gateway entry one. And $15 for it, man, that is a steal of a deal. Definitely give that a recommendation. Medieval is down to $14.99. Pretty decent on that. NAC 2, baby, $4.99. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. NAC is just not very good. I had a lot of 
high hopes for the first Knack, and unfortunately, that launch day $59.99 dropped on Knack. That is one of my more regretful purchases. Mega Man 11, $14.99 on that. That is pretty good. Uh, I loved Mega Man 11, but I'm a huge fan of Mega Man, so I'm a little bit biased towards it, but Mega Man really brought this series back to the classic action platforming that you know and love while modernizing it with some decent visuals on top of that. Mega Man seems to be back in full force. Now give me that Battle Network collection because I'm dying to replay the Battle Network games. Are you kidding me? Battle Network 5, Team Colonel all the way. Let me get that soon, Capcom. Shadow Warrior 2, 75% off for $9.99. That's solid. Shadow Warrior 3, of course, revealed. It looks like at this point... PC only, but it definitely would be coming to PlayStation 5 and Series X at some point, I would imagine, considering the first two games are available on the PS4. Watch Dogs 2 Deluxe Edition is $11.99. If you're interested and you have a PC, they're actually going to be giving out Watch Dogs 2 for free if you watch the Ubisoft Forward event, so you can do that if you have a decent PC. Otherwise, Watch Dogs 2 I thought was pretty good, and I'd give it a shout. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun, $9.99. Played this quite a bit on PC. Great game would give it a recommendation uh, if you especially like that Japan setting. I I dig the Samurai setting, and Shadow Tactics is a pretty solid strategy game, and I'm not a big fan of that style of genre, but Shadow Tactics was one I thoroughly enjoyed. Zone of the Enders, the second runner, Mars, is $7.49. That is a great deal. Zone of the Enders is one of those great mecha titles that we need more mecha games, but, you know, a lot of them sometimes aren't very good. Like, I played the hell out of Dynasty Warriors Gundam, but that was a Dynasty Warriors Musou-style game. You want a mecha title built ground up in the premise of it being a mecha game. Uh, there was that Switch game that just dropped, and how am I forgetting about it right now? That was pretty decent. I played it, and I literally forgot the name of it, so that is on me. But that's available on Switch and PC. The Shadow Warrior Collection, $14.99. Shadow Warrior 1 and 2, that's pretty solid. What else we got? That looks like about it for this sale. Shadow Warrior 1 for $7.49. Uh, yeah, th those look like the majority of the deals over there. Games under $15 sale, AC Unity, $9. Batman Arkham Knight, $9.99. Kind of pricey on that, actually. Moonlighter for $6.79 is pretty good. I would give that a shout. It's not a perfect game, but definitely an interesting title where you manage your own shop, and then you also go on these adventures. Cool game, Outlast, two six bucks. If you want to be horrified, yeah, definitely play that. Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, $9. Awesome deal. Dragon's Dogma was one of those games that I really enjoyed on the PlayStation 3, but man, did it have some issues from a technical standpoint standpoint the only thing I didn't like about Dark Arisen, if I could be biased for a second, why did they take out the song from Dragon's Dogma 1 in the opening that was just very, very questionable? Like, I was excited to get into Dark Arisen, and then when I didn't hear that song, I was like, come on, my man, how are you going to do that to me? That was one of the best elements of the game, but the game itself is still really good. Strong recommendation at 9 bucks. Prototype 2, 9.99. What else? We got Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet 9 and 9. I absolutely hate Sword Art Online, but, like, for some reason, I've watched, like, a lot of it. Uh, way more than I have any right to be watching, and I've played the majority of the video games. Fatal Bullet was pretty decent because it takes the Gun Gale Online element, and I thought that was pretty interesting. It's not a $49.99 game, but at $9.99, I do think it's a decent buy, and hey... If you do like Sword Art Online, I'm not here to judge you on that. The new game actually looks pretty sick, and I'm probably going to be checking that one out. But man, if you want to talk about cringe anime, I thought SAO was pretty damn cringe at times. But for some reason, I still finished Season 1, and I got pretty far into Season 2. Uh, Dead Rising down to $9.99. Prototype down to $7.49. Chasm is down to $9.99. That's a pretty decent little deal. Strider is down to $2.99. That is awesome. Strider is a great game. Action platformer. That reboot was done really, really well. Uh, Close to the Sun Digital Deluxe is down to $12. Citizens of the Earth is on sale. That's pretty decent. Aegis Defender, $7.99. That's been given out for free on PC quite a bit. Swindle is $4.49. That's solid. Bleed, Bleed 2, both discounted. Bleed Deluxe Edition is $7.62, while Bleed 2 is $5.59. Some arbitrary price points there. A little bit interesting. And then Ride is also on sale for $5.99. Am I missing anything? Major Black Sod under the skin. That just came out down to $14.99. Pretty good there. Prototype 1 is $7.49. Wizard of Legends, $7.99. Gotti to Resurrection, 75% off for $4.99. That's solid as well. Limbo, 50% off for $4.99. If you're one of the three people left on planet Earth that have somehow not played that, you should really remedy that as soon as possible and play Limbo because it's a pretty dark and pretty engaging game. Metal Gear Survive, baby. 75% off for $7.49. You guys know how good that game is. That is obviously a joke. Please don't buy that. Inside is 60% off for $7.99. Again, from the Limbo developers, that's really solid. Darkest Dungeon, 60% off for $9.99. So a lot of great deals are available. Oh, Pillars of Eternity Complete Edition, 80% off for $9.99. How did I miss that? That is an awesome deal. 
hard recommendation from me on that one. PoE is awesome. Obsidian, unfortunately, if you're PlayStation only, yeah, it has been acquired by Microsoft, so PC and uh, Xbox going forward by the looks of it. But that's going to conclude this video. Again, a lot of great deals across both these sales. Not gigantic sales, but north of 200 deals on the July savings sale, north of 100 deals on the games under $15 sale. But that's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.